I did it on the first question, Paul. I hope you don't mind. I'll couple it and Go be a little it. bit cheeky again. But I'll couple that, stop doing ineffective things in the hope that, and this is number two, and stop hoping that those ineffective things will work. You need to take control. And doing ineffective things and doing things over and over again and not getting anywhere means that you're probably relinquishing control over the future of your business to those activities that are probably based on the hope that they will work. Because if they're not working, there's a reason. Typically, it's because you're not in control of them. And I think, so therefore, number two is, is take control yeah. and take control over everything that you're doing. And if you are unable to identify a way to measure, tangibly measure the impact on your bottom line, and I'm getting into the dry, boring stuff, but it's so important, <laughs> tangibly measure the impact on your bottom line of every activity that you're doing. I'd be questioning you if I was working as a mentor or, or, or somebody giving guidance I'd be questioning why you're doing it. And if I look at all the businesses that we've grown successfully and the ones that we've grown and sold and the, the businesses that we now work with and the people who are growing fast, they're always the ones who are in complete control. And I'm not just talking about finances. Uh, clearly, everything relates to the bottom line of finance and sales numbers and profitability. But, you know, in marketing, we've got more numbers than we could, we could ever wish for. Uh, the key, of course, is figuring out which ones matter and which ones don't and how that fits into the bigger picture and the big machine that is marketing and sales and business. So yeah, those are the two. Perfect. Love it. I guess with, with your, with your first point there, I can relate 